Unleash your curiosity and embark on a journey through the gripping pages of The Outsiders, a timeless coming-of-age novel written by the talented S.E. Hinton. With an intriguing narrative and a profound exploration of themes, Hinton weaves a tale that captivates readers from start to finish, leaving them eager to delve into the depths of each chapter. Before we dive into the intricate plotline, let's take a moment to discover the brilliant mind behind this literary gem. S. E. Hinton, born Susan Eloise Hinton, defied expectations and shattered stereotypes when she penned The Outsiders at the tender age of 17. Published in 1967, the novel became an instant classic, earning Hinton widespread acclaim and establishing her as a remarkable voice in young adult literature. The Outsiders takes readers on an emotional roller coaster as they become immersed in the tumultuous lives of Ponyboy Curtis and his gang of greasers. Set against the backdrop of 1960s Oklahoma, Hinton paints a vivid portrait of a divided society, torn between the rival factions of the working class greasers and the privileged socks. With its gripping narrative, The Outsiders spans a total of 12 heart pounding chapters each meticulously crafted to capture the essence of the character's struggles, hopes, and dreams. As you turn the pages, you will find yourself drawn into Ponyboy's world, navigating the complexities of loyalty, friendship, and the search for identity amidst a backdrop of violence and social turmoil. As the story unfolds, you'll witness the evolution of Ponyboy's character and the profound impact of his relationships with his brothers, Derry and Soda Pop, his loyal gang members, and unexpected allies. From the inciting incident to the climactic moments that shape Ponyboy's destiny, Hinton masterfully builds tension and suspense, keeping you enthralled until the final page. With each chapter, Hinton takes you on a journey of self-discovery, as Pony Boy navigates the harsh realities of societal divisions, confronts the consequences of violence, and wrestles with the fragile nature of life and death. Each turn of the page reveals new insights, unraveling the complex web of emotions that bind the characters together and urging you to uncover the profound truths hidden within the story's layers. Prepare yourself for a literary experience that spans a total of 150 pages, where every word, every sentence, and every chapter intertwines to create a tale that resonates with readers of all ages. By the time you reach the final sentence, you'll be left yearning for more, captivated by the rich tapestry of Hinton's storytelling prowess. So, dear reader, join us as we embark on this enthralling journey through The Outsiders. Let its pages ignite your imagination, challenge your perspectives, and leave an indelible mark on your literary soul. The adventure awaits, and the revelations that lie within will leave you compelled to unravel the intricate tapestry of this extraordinary novel. Chapter 1 In the opening chapter of The Outsiders, Pony Boy Curtis introduces himself as a greaser, a member of a lower class group of teenagers in Tulsa, Oklahoma. He provides an overview of his gang, including his older brothers Derry and Soda Pop, and their ongoing rivalry with the Sox a group of privileged kids from the other side of town. Pony Boy explains the social divide between the greasers and the socks, highlighting the greasers' reputation for troublemaking and their struggle to survive in a society that views them as outsiders. He also introduces his friends, such as Two-Bit, Steve, and Dally, who make up the tight-knit greaser gang. Pony Boy's narrative sets the stage for the conflicts and challenges that will shape the story. Ponyboy's narration also touches on the impact of his parents' death, leaving him and his brothers to navigate life on their own. Derry, as the eldest, has taken on the role of caregiver and provider for Ponyboy and Soda Pop. Despite their tough circumstances, Ponyboy acknowledges the strong bond he shares with his brothers and the support they offer one another. He expresses a sense of loyalty and admiration for Derry's sacrifices, while also acknowledging their occasional clashes and the pressure he feels to meet Derry's expectations. The chapter continues by describing the greasers' encounters with the socks, which often result in violence and conflicts. Pony Boy provides examples of these incidents, highlighting the intense rivalry and animosity between the two groups. 
He emphasizes the unfairness and prejudice that the greasers face solely based on their social class, expressing frustration at being judged and labeled as troublemakers simply because they come from the wrong side of town. As the chapter progresses, Ponyboy introduces readers to the greasers' way of life. They take pride in their distinct style, characterized by their greased hair, leather jackets, and tough attitudes. They also have their own set of rules and expectations within the gang, including loyalty and unity. Ponyboy reflects on the stereotypes and misconceptions that society holds about the greasers, recognizing that their appearances and reputations do not define their true selves. Through Ponyboy's narration, readers gain insight into his character. He is intelligent and introspective, with a passion for literature and a desire for a better future. Ponyboy shares his love for reading and writing, considering it a way to escape the harsh realities of his life and expand his horizons. His literary interests serve as a source of solace and a means of understanding the world around him. In conclusion, Chapter 1 of The Outsiders sets the stage for the novel's exploration of social class, identity, and the struggles faced by the greasers. It introduces the main characters, their dynamics within the gang, and the ongoing conflicts with the Sox. Through Ponyboy's narrative, readers are invited to empathize with the challenges faced by the greasers and to question the unfair divisions and stereotypes that society imposes. The chapter establishes the foundation for the coming-of-age journey that Ponyboy and his friends will embark upon as they navigate the complexities of teenage life and search for their place in a divided society. Chapter 2 In Chapter 2 of The Outsiders, Ponyboy and his best friend, Johnny Cade, find themselves in a dangerous situation. As they walk home from the movies, they are ambushed by a group of socks who are looking for trouble. The Sox, who are from the wealthier side of town, have a reputation for targeting greasers like Pony Boy and Johnny. In a desperate act of self-defense, Johnny pulls out his switchblade and stabs one of the Sox, Bob, causing him to fall to the ground and ultimately die. Filled with shock and fear, Pony Boy and Johnny immediately realize the severity of the situation. They understand that the repercussions of Bob's death will be significant and could even lead to their own deaths at the hands of the Sox or imprisonment. Knowing they can't turn to the police for help due to the distrust between the greasers and the law enforcement, they decide to seek assistance from their fellow greasers. Pony Boy and Johnny track down Dallas Dally Winston, one of the toughest members of their gang, who has a reputation for being reckless and fearless. They explain the events that transpired, and Dally provides them with advice and support. Dally gives them money, a gun, and instructions on how to evade the authorities, emphasizing the importance of staying hidden until the situation calms down. His guidance comes from his own experiences with the law and a deep understanding of the consequences they might face. The chapter delves into the loyalty and trust within the Greaser Gang. Pony Boy and Johnny's desperation forces them to rely on their fellow greasers for protection and assistance. Despite the tough exterior and reputation that the greasers hold, they show a strong sense of camaraderie and look out for one another when the stakes are high. The chapter underscores the significance of their bonds and the importance of unity in their challenging lives. As Pony Boy and Johnny flee from the scene, they find themselves on the run aware that their lives have taken an unexpected and dangerous turn. The chapter ends with a sense of urgency and uncertainty as Pony Boy and Johnny begin their journey of hiding and grappling with the consequences of their actions. The event marks a significant turning point in the narrative, driving the story forward and intensifying the themes of loyalty, survival, and the consequences of violence. Chapter 2 sets the stage for the subsequent chapters, establishing the tension between the greasers and the socks, the fear and uncertainty that Pony Boy and Johnny face, and the need for support and guidance from their gang. It deepens the exploration of the divide between the social classes and the struggles faced by the greasers, while also emphasizing the complexities of morality and the consequences of violence. The chapter propels the story into a thrilling and dangerous trajectory, 
leaving readers eager to discover how Pony Boy and Johnny will navigate the challenges that lie ahead. Chapter 3 In Chapter 3 of The Outsiders, Pony Boy and Johnny find themselves in a state of seclusion as they hide out in an abandoned church on the outskirts of town. The church becomes their temporary refuge, shielding them from the outside world and offering a sense of safety. As they settle into their new environment, Pony Boy reflects on their dire circumstances and the challenges they face as greasers in a society that often marginalizes and misunderstands them. During their time in the church, Pony Boy and Johnny experience a period of introspection and self discovery. They engage in deep conversations, contemplating their lives, families, and aspirations. Ponyboy's perspective broadens as he starts to question the stereotypes and prejudices he has encountered. He realizes that people, regardless of their social class, share similar hopes, dreams, and struggles. This realization challenges his preconceived notions about the Sox, recognizing that they are individuals with their own complexities rather than mere adversaries. As Pony Boy explores the surroundings of the church, he finds solace in the beauty of nature. He describes the golden sunsets and the quietude of the countryside, providing a contrast to the harsh realities of his urban existence. These moments of tranquility offer a respite from the turmoil that has plagued Ponyboy's life, allowing him to find moments of peace and reflection. The chapter also delves into the relationship between Ponyboy and Johnny. As they spend time together, their friendship deepens, and a profound bond forms between them. They confide in one another, sharing their fears, dreams, and vulnerabilities. Pony Boy recognizes Johnny's loyalty and kindness, appreciating the unwavering support he receives during this challenging period. Their connection becomes a source of strength as they navigate their uncertain circumstances together. However, the chapter also highlights the isolation and hardships they face. Pony Boy acknowledges the physical and emotional toll of their predicament. They endure hunger, discomfort, and the constant fear of being discovered. Pony Boy's introspection leads him to question the fairness of their circumstances and the systemic factors that perpetuate social divisions. Chapter 3 showcases Ponyboy's growth and maturation as he grapples with his identity and the complexities of the world around him. His interactions with Johnny, coupled with the serenity of their temporary sanctuary, shape his evolving perspective on social class, friendship, and the universal human experiences that transcend societal divisions. The chapter sets the stage for further character development and explores the themes of empathy, self-discovery, and the search for meaning in the face of adversity. Chapter 4 In Chapter 4 of The Outsiders, Pony Boy and Johnny continue their stay in the abandoned church, deepening their bond and contemplating their place in the world. As they spend more time in seclusion, Pony Boy reflects on the unfairness and challenges faced by the greasers, recognizing the systemic disadvantages that perpetuate their struggles. He contemplates the arbitrary nature of social divisions and the impact it has on shaping individuals' lives. During their discussions, Pony Boy and Johnny delve into the differences between the greasers and the socks, acknowledging the privileges that the socks enjoy due to their wealth and social status. Pony Boy begins to question the notion of being cool and the external expectations placed upon individuals based on their affiliations. He realizes that beneath the surface, both greasers and socks are human beings with hopes, dreams, and emotions, challenging the stereotypes that society imposes. As Pony Boy and Johnny grapple with their circumstances, they find solace in literature and movies. Pony Boy expresses his love for reading and writing, recognizing its power to transport him to different worlds and provide a temporary escape from his reality. The works of Robert Frost, particularly the poem Nothing Gold Can Stay, resonate with Pony Boy, as he contemplates the fleeting nature of innocence and beauty. The chapter also explores the dynamics within the Greaser Gang. Pony Boy reflects on the personalities and relationships among his fellow Greasers, highlighting their shared loyalty and camaraderie. 
Despite occasional conflicts and disagreements, they remain a tight-knit group, united by their shared experiences and the challenges they face as outsiders in society. While in the church, Pony Boy and Johnny's seclusion is interrupted by a visit from Dallas, Dally Winston. Dally brings news from the outside world, sharing information about the escalating tensions between the greasers and the socks. He also warns them of the consequences they may face if they are caught, advising them to remain hidden until the situation settles down. As the chapter progresses, the strain of their isolation begins to take a toll on Pony Boy and Johnny. They feel the weight of loneliness, hunger, and uncertainty, further highlighting the hardships they endure. However, their time in the church also serves as a catalyst for introspection and personal growth as they confront their fears, question societal norms, and redefine their identities. Chapter 4 deepens the exploration of the novel's themes, including social class, identity, and the power of literature. It showcases Ponyboy's increasing awareness of the injustices faced by the greasers and his growing disillusionment with the societal divisions that define their lives. The chapter sets the stage for the subsequent events that will test Ponyboy's resilience, challenging him to navigate the complexities of the world and make difficult choices that will shape his future. Chapter 5 In Chapter 5 of The Outsiders, Pony Boy and Johnny venture back into town and find themselves at a drive-in movie theater. There, they unexpectedly encounter two SOC girls named Cherry Valance and Marsha. Pony Boy strikes up a conversation with Cherry, and they engage in a sincere and thought-provoking discussion about the social divide between the greasers and the socks. During their conversation, Pony Boy learns that Cherry does not share the same animosity towards the greasers as many of the other socks do. She admits that while she doesn't agree with the fighting and violence, she understands the challenges faced by the greasers and acknowledges that they have their own struggles. Pony Boy begins to see that not all socks are the same and that there is a potential for understanding and empathy between the two groups. Cherry's insight into the social dynamics between the greasers and the socks challenges Pony Boy's perceptions and expands his understanding of the world. It forces him to confront the complexity of human nature and the ways in which societal expectations can shape individuals' behavior. Through their conversation, Pony Boy begins to see that people are not simply defined by the labels placed upon them but are multifaceted individuals with their own stories and struggles. As the evening progresses, Pony Boy and Johnny spend time with Cherry and Marsha, enjoying each other's company and momentarily forgetting the tension and divisions that separate their social groups. However, the interaction is cut short when Ponyboy's loyalty to his gang is tested. Two-Bit and some other greasers arrive at the drive-in and make crude comments about Cherry and Marsha, leading to a heated confrontation. Ponyboy realizes the difficulties of bridging the gap between the greasers and the socks, as the hostility and prejudices deeply ingrained in both groups present a significant barrier to understanding and reconciliation. Despite the sudden tension, Cherry's perspective leaves a lasting impact on Pony Boy. He begins to question the nature of loyalty and the cyclical violence that plagues their community. He becomes more aware of the underlying social issues that fuel the conflict between the greasers and the socks and contemplates the possibility of a different future, one where empathy and understanding can replace the perpetual rivalry. Chapter 5 emphasizes the importance of communication, empathy, and breaking down stereotypes. It reveals the potential for human connection and understanding, even in the face of deep-seated divisions. Ponyboy's encounter with Cherry challenges his preconceived notions and broadens his perspective, leaving him with a sense of hope and a desire to bridge the gap between the greasers and the socks. The chapter sets the stage for further exploration of these themes as Ponyboy grapples with the complexities of loyalty, identity, and the possibility of finding common ground in a divided society. Chapter 6 In Chapter 6 of The Outsiders, Tensions between the greasers and the socks escalate, leading to a tragic turn of events. Pony Boy, Johnny, and Two Bit find themselves at a park late at night when they encounter Bob's girlfriend, Sherry, whom they call Cherry. 
she has been avoiding the socks lately due to the animosity between the two groups. Cherry shares her concerns about the growing tension and reveals that Bob's death has had a profound impact on her, challenging her perception of the greasers. As they continue their conversation, Pony Boy, Johnny, and Tubit notice a group of socks approaching. The situation quickly escalates into a violent confrontation, with the greasers defending themselves against the socks attack. In the heat of the moment, Johnny, who is terrified and trying to protect Pony Boy, stabs and kills one of the attackers. The intense emotions and fear of the greasers are palpable as they realize the gravity of the situation. In the aftermath of the altercation, Pony Boy and Johnny are overcome with guilt and fear. They seek help and refuge from Dally, who advises them to hide in an abandoned church in Windricksville, a small town nearby. With the weight of their actions on their shoulders, Pony Boy and Johnny make the difficult decision to run away and find safety in the church. As Pony Boy and Johnny settle into their temporary sanctuary, their emotional turmoil deepens. They wrestle with their consciences, haunted by the consequences of their violent actions. The gravity of taking a life weighs heavily on Johnny, leaving him shattered and remorseful. Pony Boy serves as a source of support and comfort for Johnny, reminding him that they acted in self-defense and had no other choice. The chapter also explores the impact of the events on Pony Boy's relationships within the gang. He is acutely aware of the strain these circumstances have put on his friendship with the other greasers, particularly Derry and Soda Pop. The weight of their expectations, coupled with the guilt he feels, creates a sense of isolation and distance. Pony Boy grapples with feelings of alienation, questioning his place within his own family and gang. Chapter 6 showcases the escalating violence and its profound consequences. It delves into the moral dilemmas faced by Pony Boy and Johnny as they navigate the harsh realities of their lives. The chapter highlights the emotional toll of their actions, exploring themes of guilt, regret, and the blurred lines between self-defense and senseless violence. It sets the stage for the climax of the novel, where Pony Boy and Johnny will face the ultimate test of their resilience and confront the lasting impact of their choices. Chapter 7 In Chapter 7 of The Outsiders, Pony Boy and Johnny's time in the abandoned church comes to an abrupt end when they learn that a fire has broken out. The church is engulfed in flames, and Pony Boy and Johnny realize that some children are trapped inside. Without hesitation, they rush into the burning building to rescue the kids. Amidst the chaos and danger, Pony Boy and Johnny demonstrate incredible bravery and selflessness. They manage to rescue all the children, but in the process, Johnny sustains severe injuries. Pony Boy, too, is injured, though not as severely. Their actions highlight the lengths they are willing to go to protect others, even at the risk of their own lives. As news of their heroism spreads, Pony Boy and Johnny become celebrated figures in their community. The public views them as courageous, noble individuals who put themselves in harm's way to save others. However, their newfound fame also exposes them to the scrutiny of the law and the media, heightening the pressure on them as they try to navigate the aftermath of their actions. The chapter delves into the complexities of heroism and the burden it places on Pony Boy and Johnny. They struggle with their newfound status as heroes, feeling unworthy of the praise and attention they receive. They understand that their heroic act was driven by their own personal code of honor, rather than a desire for recognition. Despite their internal conflicts, they must confront the reality that their actions have put them in the spotlight, and they must grapple with the consequences that come with it. Throughout the chapter, Ponyboy's perspective on life and death becomes more pronounced. The events they have experienced, coupled with Johnny's worsening condition, force Ponyboy to confront the fragility and unpredictability of life. He contemplates the meaning of existence, recognizing that life is precious and fleeting. These existential thoughts deepen his introspection and shape his evolving worldview. Chapter 7 also introduces the character of Randy, 
a SOC who previously had conflicts with the Greasers. Randy visits Pony Boy and expresses his disillusionment with the ongoing violence between the Greasers and the Sox. He reveals his reluctance to participate in the upcoming Rumble, realizing the futility of the endless cycle of fighting. This encounter challenges Ponyboy's perception of the Sox and further blurs the lines between the two groups. The chapter ends on a somber note, with Johnny's health rapidly deteriorating. The gravity of their situation intensifies as Ponyboy contemplates the consequences of their actions, the impact it will have on Johnny's life, and the uncertainty of their own futures. Chapter 7 explores the themes of heroism, the consequences of violence, and the fragility of life. It delves into the complexities of societal expectations, contrasting Pony Boy and Johnny's selfless act with the burden of public perception. The chapter sets the stage for the climactic events that will test Pony Boy's resilience and force him to confront the realities of mortality and the cost of loyalty. Chapter 8 In Chapter 8 of The Outsiders, the tension between the Greasers and the Sox escalates as the date of the Rumble approaches. Pony Boy and his gang prepare for the upcoming fight, knowing that it will be a pivotal moment that could potentially determine their fate and the balance of power between the two groups. As Pony Boy and his friends make final preparations, the sense of apprehension and uncertainty hangs heavily in the air. The Rumble symbolizes a violent clash between the Greasers and the Sox, a manifestation of the deep-seated animosity and rivalry that has plagued their communities for so long. Pony Boy reflects on the futility of the rumble, questioning the senselessness of the violence and the high personal cost it entails. Amidst the preparations, Pony Boy receives a visit from Randy, a SOC who has decided to defy expectations and not participate in the rumble. Randy opens up to Pony Boy expressing his weariness with the never-ending cycle of violence and acknowledging the shared humanity that exists between the two groups. Randy's vulnerability and introspection further challenge Ponyboy's preconceived notions and force him to reconsider the divisions that have shaped his world. As the rumble commences, the brutality of the fight unfolds. The greasers and the socks engage in a fierce battle, fueled by years of resentment and pent-up anger. The rumble serves as a visceral representation of the consequences of unchecked violence, leaving both sides bloodied and battered. Ponyboy's emotions run high as he witnesses the toll the fight takes on his friends and the painful realization that violence only perpetuates more violence. Following the rumble, the greasers emerge victorious, but the victory is hollow and bittersweet. The high price paid for their momentary triumph weighs heavily on Ponyboy's conscience, as he confronts the devastating consequences of the fight. The injuries sustained by his friends, the loss of life, and the shattered illusion of victory force him to question the true cost of loyalty and the choices he has made. Chapter 8 delves into the themes of violence, loyalty, and the search for identity. It explores the aftermath of the rumble and the toll it takes on Pony Boy and his gang. The chapter emphasizes the cyclical nature of violence, challenging Ponyboy's perception of the world and forcing him to confront the repercussions of his actions. It sets the stage for the final chapters of the novel, where Ponyboy must confront the ultimate challenges of acceptance, loss, and the pursuit of a better future. Chapter 9 In Chapter 9 of The Outsiders, Ponyboy wakes up in an unfamiliar place, surrounded by worried faces. He soon realizes that he is in the hospital and that he has been suffering from a concussion and various injuries as a result of the rumble. The news of Johnny's condition weighs heavily on Ponyboy's mind, as he anxiously awaits updates on his best friend's condition. Visitors from both the Greasers and the Sox come to see Ponyboy, expressing their concern and offering their support. The boundaries between the two groups become blurred as the shared experiences of violence and loss bring them together. The enmity that once defined their interactions is overshadowed by a collective realization of the senselessness of the ongoing conflict. As Pony Boy recovers, he is visited by Randy, who continues to challenge his perspective on the social divide. 
Randy expresses his regret and disillusionment with the destructive behavior of the Sox and acknowledges that change is needed to break the cycle of violence. His words resonate with Ponyboy, deepening his understanding of the complexities of their society and the potential for reconciliation. Meanwhile, Ponyboy's brothers, Derry and Soda Pop, show their unwavering support and love for him. Ponyboy's accident serves as a catalyst for a deeper understanding and appreciation of their familial bonds. The strained relationship between Ponyboy and Derry begins to mend as both brothers realize the importance of their connection and the need to protect and care for one another. As the chapter progresses, Ponyboy learns the devastating news that Johnny has passed away from his injuries. The loss of his best friend leaves him shattered, and he struggles to come to terms with the harsh reality of death. Ponyboy's grief is further intensified by the realization that Johnny's life was cut short by the violence and divisiveness that plagued their world. Chapter 9 explores the themes of unity, loss, and the search for meaning amidst tragedy. It showcases the aftermath of the rumble and the profound impact it has on Pony Boy and those around him. The chapter delves into the transformation of relationships, the reevaluation of values, and the painful process of grieving. It sets the stage for the final chapters of the novel, where Pony Boy must navigate the complexities of his emotions, confront the societal forces that have shaped his life, and ultimately find a way to reconcile the conflicting aspects of his identity. Chapter 10 In Chapter 10 of The Outsiders, Pony Boy is consumed by grief and guilt following Johnny's death. He struggles to find solace in the wake of such a devastating loss and grapples with the weight of responsibility he feels for the tragic events that unfolded. Ponyboy's emotional turmoil deepens as he is haunted by memories of Johnny and the impact he had on his life. He finds solace in Johnny's letter, left behind for him before he passed away. Through Johnny's words, Ponyboy gains a renewed sense of purpose and a determination to find meaning in his own life. As Ponyboy continues to process his emotions, he begins to see the world with fresh eyes. He takes notice of the beauty in the sunrise, the color of the sky, and the simple pleasures that he once took for granted. These moments of clarity serve as a reminder that life is fleeting and precious, urging him to seize the opportunities before him. Ponyboy's interactions with Cherry, who visits him at his home, offer a glimmer of hope and the possibility of reconciliation. They engage in a candid conversation, exploring the complexities of their shared experiences and the desire for a better future. Through their heartfelt dialogue, Ponyboy realizes that both greasers and socks are victims of a flawed and divisive society, and that unity is essential to enact meaningful change. Throughout the chapter, Ponyboy's relationships with his gang members deepen as they support one another through their grief. The bond between the greasers becomes stronger as they lean on each other for support, reinforcing the importance of friendship and loyalty in the face of adversity. Chapter 10 also introduces the looming threat of Ponyboy's impending court appearance. The possibility of being separated from his brothers and placed in a boy's home hangs over him, adding another layer of uncertainty to his already tumultuous life. Ponyboy wrestles with his fears and the potential consequences he may face, but he remains determined to stay true to himself and fight for a better future. The chapter highlights the themes of resilience, self-discovery, and the pursuit of redemption. Ponyboy's journey of introspection and personal growth deepens, as he grapples with the profound impact of loss and the power of human connection. It sets the stage for the climactic moments of the novel, where Ponyboy will face his court hearing, confront his own identity, and strive to find his place in a world divided by socio-economic differences. Chapter 11 In Chapter 11 of The Outsiders, Ponyboy prepares for his court hearing, which will determine his fate and the possibility of being separated from his brothers and placed in a boy's home. The weight of the impending judgment hangs heavily on him, and he reflects on the unfairness of the system and the stereotypes that dictate society's perception of greasers like himself. As Pony Boy navigates the courtroom proceedings, he faces the scrutiny of the judge, the prosecutor, and the social worker assigned to his case. 
He feels like an outsider in this unfamiliar environment, where his fate is decided by people who don't truly understand the struggles he and his friends have faced. The support of his brothers, Derry and Sodapop, becomes crucial as they stand by his side throughout the court hearing. Their unwavering belief in Ponyboy's potential and their determination to keep their family together gives him strength and resilience in the face of adversity. In a pivotal moment during the court hearing, Ponyboy recites the poem Nothing Gold Can Stay by Robert Frost. The poem serves as a poignant reminder of the fleeting nature of innocence and beauty, resonating with the judge and challenging his preconceived notions about greasers. This powerful act showcases Ponyboy's intelligence, vulnerability, and the depth of his character, leaving a lasting impression on those present. The chapter also delves into Ponyboy's evolving relationship with Randy. Randy, who has previously been SOC, reveals his decision to move away and leave the destructive lifestyle behind. He expresses his disillusionment with the social divide and the violence that plagues their community. This interaction further humanizes the socks in Ponyboy's eyes and deepens his understanding of the complexities of their shared experiences. As the chapter concludes, Ponyboy learns that he will not be sent to a boy's home. The judge rules in his favor, recognizing the potential for rehabilitation and the importance of keeping him with his family. This decision offers a glimmer of hope and the possibility of a brighter future for Ponyboy. Chapter 11 explores themes of injustice, the power of self-expression, and the resilience of the human spirit. It showcases Ponyboy's growth and his ability to challenge societal stereotypes through his actions and words. The chapter emphasizes the significance of familial bonds and the impact they have on shaping one's identity. It sets the stage for the final chapter of the novel, where Ponyboy must come to terms with the lessons he has learned and find a way to reconcile the divisions that have defined his world. Chapter 12 In the final chapter of The Outsiders, Ponyboy reflects on the events that have shaped his life and contemplates the lessons he has learned along the way. He acknowledges the sacrifices made by those around him and the profound impact they have had on his journey of self-discovery. Ponyboy visits Johnny's grave, grappling with the reality of his friend's death and the weight of the experiences they shared. He finds solace in the memory of Johnny's unwavering belief in staying gold, a metaphor for preserving one's innocence and embracing the beauty of the world. Ponyboy resolves to honor Johnny's memory by embracing his own potential and cherishing the fleeting moments of happiness. The relationships between the Greasers and the Sox begin to shift as Ponyboy gains a new perspective on the divisions that have torn their community apart. He realizes that beneath the surface, they are all human beings with their own struggles and vulnerabilities. Ponyboy reaches out to Randy, who has distanced himself from the gang lifestyle, and they engage in a heartfelt conversation about the need for understanding and compassion. Throughout the chapter, Ponyboy grapples with the complexities of identity and the labels society places on individuals. He ponders the notion of being an outsider and realizes that these divisions are arbitrary, highlighting the commonalities that exist between people regardless of their social status. Ponyboy's English teacher, Mr. Syme, encourages him to write an essay about his experiences, giving him a platform to share his perspective with others. Through his writing, Ponyboy seeks to bridge the gap between the greasers and the rest of society, shedding light on their struggles and dispelling misconceptions. The novel concludes with Ponyboy reflecting on the importance of staying true to oneself and valuing the connections forged with others. He acknowledges the challenges that lie ahead but expresses hope for a future where societal divisions can be overcome through understanding and empathy. Chapter 12 delves into the themes of identity, empathy, and the power of storytelling. It offers a sense of closure as Pony Boy comes to terms with his place in the world and the impact he can make by sharing his experiences. The chapter emphasizes the potential for change and the importance of human connection in overcoming the barriers that separate us. The Outsiders, as a whole, explores themes of social class, friendship, loyalty, and the search for meaning in a world marked by violence and division. Through Ponyboy's journey, 
the novel challenges societal stereotypes, highlights the complexities of human relationships, and encourages readers to question the divisions that exist within their own communities.